I'm already pressed for time as it is. Mother's waiting for me on the wharf. Sticking your nose everywhere again. Wow, what's the matter with him? Excuse me, monsieur, I don't follow you. I haven't come all this way just to fail so close to the goal. Why, what are you talking about? I am talking about what you are doing. This conference is going to boost my career. There is no question of me letting you ruin everything. I just surprised Piaget and Volner talking. You are about to rob Mortimer. Give me what you took from him immediately. Let's keep calm, please. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'll have to cut this short, quick. Look, I don't know what you're going on about, and I don't have time for this right now. Don't think on getting rid of me so easily, Derichet. Where have you been? I'm still looking for my mother, if, if you can believe it. I've been in the manor basement to check if she might have gone lost. And uh, did you find her? No, not a trace. I'm warning you, Derichet. I have got my eye on you. I'll soon figure out what you are up to. And I am convinced that you have indeed robbed Mortimer. The game is up. Give me what you took from him. You know, this is becoming an obsession with you. Show me what you are carrying, or I will call the servants. Very well. Fair is fair. You've exposed me. Here. This is what I took from him. Look, I'm sorry. I acted on a bizarre impulse. I don't know why, sir. And frankly, you have disappointed me. That said, it is not as bad as I thought it would be. Right. We'll leave it there. I'm glad that things have been cleared up. So, are we finished here? Indeed we are. I shall leave you. That's right. Go play somewhere else. See you later, monsieur. Come on. I have to hurry up and join my mother at the wharf now. Golden elixir. Hmm. I'll keep it for later. Am I disturbing you? Monsieur de Richet, it seems you are everywhere. Was Mr. Von Volner able to help you? Help me? Yes. For your armillary sphere. Oh, yes, that. Louis, everything all right? I... yes, yes, <laughs> excuse me, I, I was miles away. Oh, while you're here, you wouldn't know who the last guest is, would you? What do you mean? I heard Sir Gregory speaking about it. A certain Al-Asif, something or other. Who? What? Obviously I... not. It's not important, forget it. No, 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 hang on. It doesn't matter, I'm telling you. We'll find out soon enough. I'm in a hurry right now. I, I'm waiting for someone. Uh, see you later, Louis. Shit. I haven't time either. See you later. Ah, Louis. Perfect timing. As luck would have it. Come, my boy. I would like to have a word with you. Come closer, please. It's time we had a little chat. What's... what's wrong, my lord? Um, uh, tell me. 
What's with all the bodyguards? Louis, it's time you found out the truth. I've been observing you since you arrived. I see you running all over the grounds in the search of Sarah. I would like to prevent her from leading you even further down the wrong road. The wrong road? Louis, Sarah has made her own choices of her own free will, and I would like for you to have the same chance. You see, Sarah and I have known each other for a very long time, Louis. I am aware of her theory. About me? About Gregory? About the demons? And it's true. She's right. Look at me. I have inhabited this body since 1191. For the last 602 years, I have been this, dear William Mortimer. Continue. Louis, it's time you opened your eyes. Come, you'll soon see. After you. I hope I've answered all your questions, Louis. Come, I've something to show you. There... there is one question that remains to be answered. Why me? Why tell me all of this? Oh. Haven't you guessed yet? I've got an idea, but it might seem stupid. Trust me. Am I one? I mean... Am I a demon? Would you like that? I must admit that the idea is appealing. Look, we are of the gods, Louis. Always have been. You, as much as me. You are one of us, Louis. You too are a demon. Are you serious? You know it. Deep down inside, you know I am telling you the truth. Where do you think that natural charismatic presence comes from? Your talent must already have manifested itself somehow. Have you ever had any visions? No. Stop it, it's absurd. Have you never found yourself suddenly inside someone else's body, without knowing why? No. Whilst asleep, maybe? That's how it often happens the first time. Your spirit wanders unconsciously. My mother can't have lied to me about that. It's true. Your real mother would never have lied I... to you. I... What do you mean? Louis. I would rather you found this out from her own lips, but it's important that you know. Sarah is not your mother. I... What? I'm sorry you had to find out this way, Louis. But you must know the truth before you commit an irreparable act. No, I... No. It, no, it's not possible. You are my son. Liar! Well, well. So now you're his bastard. You really took me for a fool. Don't make a move, you clowns! Everybody keep calm. Don't say a word or I'll shoot your kid! Ah, uh, not so clever now, are we? At last I found a way to put the pressure on you, Mortimer. Look, just calm down, monsieur. You stopped me from ending it all. Because of you, I've had to pay for it. You don't know what it's like. He's in your head. He's in your soul. I never want to feel that again. Jack, I did not betray you. You're just like him! You don't know the whole story. You ought to let me help you. One more move and I'll shoot you down, you bastard. Jack, you'll end up hurting yourself if you continue like this. There's no one to save here anyway. So, what are you gonna do now? You've just found out your true nature. What difference does it make? Wait, Jack! If it weren't for me, you'd be dead by now. You've seen who I am, and this so-called revelation makes no difference. I'm not a slave to my birth, and I refuse to pretend to be a victim. I am Louis de Richet. Do you really believe you've got enough strength to resist him? I am who I am. Only our actions truly define us. And you can threaten me all you want. It won't make any difference. Don't change, Louis. You're strong. I wasn't able to make it. You're just like him. You are already. You can't see it, or you don't want to see it. But it's already too late. In fact, I haven't got any choice. You always have a choice. You know very well what will happen to you if you shoot me. 
going to be held accountable, and you will lose everything, starting with your freedom, and then your head. I told you, I don't care. Not about yourself, maybe, but what about your daughter? It wouldn't be the same for her, would it? Shut up! Shut up! She will be alone, in a world that you know is hostile. What will become of her? I... That's true, but... Don't abandon her. Not a second time. It's your last chance, my friend. <laughs> it's over. Come now. You know what I told you. Evil and good depend on you, and not on your nature. Yes, it's true, and the same holds true for all of us. Monsieur Peru, I am willing to overlook this latest scene. You can thank my son for that. I think, however, that you ought to take your leave for your good and ours, as well as that of your daughter. <laughs> Not too shaken up. You've experienced many significant events since your arrival. You can say that again. For now, I think you ought to find Sarah, my son. You ought to talk things over with her. So she's been lying to me all along? Let her justify herself. What's done is done. Sarah must explain herself. You must clear the air. We'll have all the time we need to talk afterwards. But all in good time. B before you join her, I'd like to give you something. As a demon, I would like to introduce you to your first talent. What do you mean? Open your mind, my son. Relax. You hold immense power. It's already there, inside you. Empty your mind of all thoughts. Just let me show you the way. I should relax. Open your mind. Hear my voice. Feel the vibrations and listen to what has been happening to you, deep inside, but which you have been concealing. Trust yourself. It's all already in there. I... I can hear something. Now breathe. It's... a sound very, very faint. That's right. Concentrate on it. My voice is growing fainter, but I am here. I... Whispers, words, mixed voices. Mm. Focus on one of them. Don't be afraid. I... I sense a stream. Some words are clear, but not all of them. Let them enter into your mind. I... Hear them. Now, now I can hear a clear voice. Well done, Louis. Congratulations. What was it? You are now able to read people's minds. I... Uh, what? You heard me. From now on, whenever a human speaks to you, you will be able to read their current thoughts. So, if you need to know something in particular from someone, all you have to do is make them think about it. But it, it'd be a violation of their most intimate thoughts, wouldn't it? To begin with, there's nothing obliging you to do it. You already had the ability without even knowing it. I just gave you the option of putting it into practice if you want. Moreover, it would be wrong to evoke morality here. Every species is different, Louis, and this is the way we are made. That's all there is to it. You are free to use this talent or not, and what's more, it will be up to you to decide what to do with the thoughts you read. That is where the values of right and wrong do come into play. There are also a few rules you need to know that govern this talent when used between ourselves. You can read the thoughts of demons as well as of humans. But be careful. A demon more experienced than yourself will know that you are spying and will often react quite violently. It's considered bad form to play around the psyche of another demon. It's a question of courtesy. But let's be clear. What is most considered bad form is getting caught. So I would advise against trying to read the thoughts of Gregory, for example. Home? Yes, the old grump is touchy. 
and rather a stickler about the conventions. On that note, go and see Sarah, Louis. Otherwise, she might leave without you. We'll continue this discussion later, if you want. Just join me in my study when you've finished. Let's see what Mortimer's thinking about. He is thinking he might not have been clear enough with you. When I told you not to try to read into Gregory or her experienced demons, it also applied to me, of course. You... you can hear me think? Of course I can. I can sense you. For the moment, your mind shines like a thousand lights because you haven't yet mastered the art of concealment from the psyches of others. So... I give you a weapon, and the first thing you do is try to shoot me with it? If my intentions were evil, you would already be at my mercy. So be very careful on whom you use the talent. All right. On that note, uh, I'd better be going. I'm expected. One more thing. If you want to know the truth about your birth, ask her about Paris, 1763 at 12 Rue des Martyrs. That's where she disemboweled your mother to steal you from me. It's not that I regret all these discussions, but I must hurry... in cold blood. What is at stake here far outweighs our personal interests. I, our I should... Our personal interests? I'm talking about my sister's life. She was my other half. Calm down, Emily. Calm down. Louis, don't come near me. I warned you what would happen if I found her. I was so hoping it wouldn't end like this. I'm fed up with all these deaths. Emily, put the weapon down. She... she has to pay for all the harm she's done to me. Well, to be fair, we've all made mistakes. And look at her, Emily. She's paid for hers. I'm all alone now. Duchess, I am sorry for what happened. I didn't have any choice. Are ah, you? Shut your mouth! You had the choice, all right. You use people according to your own desires, without any scruples. Excuse me, Duchess, but we're in the same line of business. Shut it! And as for Emma, she knew only too no, well. No, Emily. Look at me, Emily. What did you say? Not like her. Neither you nor Emma are like Sarah. Ever since you got here, you've always tried to help me. I trust you, Emily. And Emma would never have betrayed me either. No, she... she wasn't like that. She was loyal. But why did Sarah betray Emma? Why? I... your sister was supposed to hide something, and no one was supposed to have been able to find it. And? She would never have talked, even under torture. So why get rid of her? Unfortunately, Emily, the creatures who live here employ methods that no one can resist. I was going to get her out of there for God's sake. So what are you talking about? Emily Mortimer's a demon! In the literal sense of the word. What are you- Lord Mortimer has been around since the Third Crusade. He fiddles with his family records so he can keep maintaining his identity. I know it sounds crazy, but I swear on everything I hold dear, that's the truth. What? But when did- Louis, I... Do you realize what you are asking me to believe? I know, but it's the truth, Emily. How do you expect me to accept this? 
We are in the Golden Order precisely to fight against such beliefs. Do you remember those deeds we found behind the chimney? They weren't fake. There's a reason why they're all signed by his same hand. Demons. In his study, he keeps the Mortimer family tree. They produced only boys, just one per generation since the Third Crusade, and they are all called William. He justifies his own existence, Emily. Look, I'm going to believe you, but if you're taking me for a ride... Unfortunately for us, it'd be impossible to even make up a story like that. All right, I believe you. Thank him. You owe him your life. I have always been very lucky to have him as my son. I really thought my next breath would be my last. Well, anything's possible. This is no time to be joking. Just help me climb aboard this boat, and let's get off of this cursed island. No, I'm not going anywhere, and neither are you, until you've told me everything. For crying out loud, what are you talking about? No, 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 not now, no. Make him not want to know. I know everything. No. I beg you, please trust me. He's manipulating you. We must leave. Paris. Can't you see he wants you? And he'll do anything to turn you against me? Number 12, en rue des Martyrs. He had to pay for what he did to me. I panicked. There she was with the baby do. I thought it was the right time to touch it, but To when... touch it? By disemboweling her and stealing me from her? The girl was already condemned to die. He never leaves any witnesses behind. She meant nothing to him. And I absolutely had to find a way of stopping him. Did you lost your mind or what? How did you stop him by stealing a baby? He was multiplying. I had to do something. It took me years to pick up his trail again, Louis. From the second I took you in, I couldn't bear to be apart from you. I looked after you, fed you, raised you, like a mother. You made me in your own image. No, you're wrong. I devoted my whole life to teaching you to distinguish between right and wrong, so you would have the choice. You are not like him. But, but you never told me. I wanted to. I very nearly told you everything at least a dozen times. You didn't, though, did you? Why? I, I don't know, Louis. I couldn't. Not after Venice. Talk to me about Venice. Oh, no. I... Louis, let's go. I'll tell you everything once we get home. Now come. You never wanted us to speak about it again. Winter, 1791, do you remember? Louis, no. We agreed to never speak about it again. Now I understand. We were on the trail of a businessman. We broke into his place one night. We ran into his wife. Not that, Louis. It's in the past. She too was pregnant. Was he Mortimer's as well? Louis, I... Answer. Yes. What became of the child? I gave it away. For him too? You became his mother, didn't you? No, I gave him to a couple who couldn't have children. I never saw him again. How many children have you stolen from him? I saved all of you, Louis. I gave you a normal life. Nine. Louis, yes. I made mistakes in the past, but now I'm ready Do to- Do you consider me a mistake? No, not you. You are what I am most proud of in my whole life. You are good. You fight to do right. You are not like him. Still, he is my father. Why did you steal me? You don't want to know, believe me. For once in your life, be honest. Why all this mess? Why do you have it in for him so much? Why? Because I'm his daughter. I know what he's doing. I see he has his eye on you. He's hovering around you, tempting you. He did it to me before you. And if you don't live up to his expectations, he will cast you away. Is that what happened to you? I wasn't good enough for him. So he rejected me. What do you mean? He tried to initiate me, but it would seem I am unable to develop his talent. I can't withdraw my mind from my body. I get it. The reason why you abducted me is because he didn't love you, isn't it? He doesn't love anyone, Louis. Don't be taken in. You are my mother. Whatever you've done, I can't take that away from you. It doesn't excuse everything, but 
in time we will find a way of putting it all behind us. Oh, thank you, Louis. Thank you. I will never lie to you again. Come on, let's go. No, Mother. I'm not going back with you. I can't. What do you mean? Louis, you can't stay here. He Don't will... Don't worry about me. I have to stay. I still have a lot to learn. But you go. Louis! I'll see you in Paris. Don't worry. Here. This is yours. Don't forget, Louis. You've got the lance. You can beat him. If you hit him with it, he won't be able to escape from his mortal envelope, and he will die with it. 